In this video, we will cover the drum set panel on the Quick Setup tab. This is where you quickly set up how M Drummer sounds. After opening M Drummer, the first thing you will see is the drum set selector. The directory tree shows different categories of drums acoustic, electronic, percussion, and special stuff. If yours looks different, then you haven't probably installed all packs. To load a drum set, click on its name twice or select it and click on the load button. There is a handy auto load option here. When active, every click on a drum set will automatically load it. If you're not sure what drum set you need, try the random button here. It will load a new and random drum set each time you press it. It can be a good source of inspiration. Clicking on load and join button will add a selected drum set to an existing one. By doing so, you'll get two, three, or more different drum sets playing the same rhythm. A good trick to beef up the sound. Again, if you're feeling random, just click on this button with a diamond icon. Even better, you can generate a completely new drum set by clicking on the Generate button. In this case, M Drummer will put together a new drum set from components, which we'll talk about later, or may even generate absolutely new sounds. How cool is that? If you're not happy with the previously loaded joined or generated drum set, simply click the undo button in the toolbar. You may also utilize A to H preset selector for different drum sets comparison or for keeping successful choices. A very useful tool. M Drummer also comes with a whole bunch of Melder plugins. We'll talk about this feature in detail when we discuss the mixer tab. For now, let me introduce the Generate Effects button. It throws a bunch of random plugins on every drum channel. Needless to say, it radically changes the sound. To save the results of your hard work, click on the Save button. In a pop-up window, select a directory, give a name, and click on OK. Pressing this small button with the heart icon will save your drum set into the favorite subdirectory. If there already was the drum set with the same name, M Drummer will add a number at the end of the name. Thus, your previous work won't be overwritten. Maybe you already noticed the components directory in the drum sets. Here you'll find all sorts of individual drum sounds. For example, there's a bass drum folder with individual bass drums, or hi-hat folder with individual hi-hats. All feature all the needed articulations. While you can certainly load or load and join them as normal drum sets, the actual purpose is to make the drum set designer work. Let's check it out. Here we find a list of the drums used in the current drum set. To narrow your choice, you can select one of the categories on the top. Drums, cymbals, percussion and effects. To check the sound, simply click on its icon with description. Drum Set Designer lets you quickly and easily create custom drum sets from the thousands of components M Drummer comes with. Let's take a quick trip through the buttons for this snare drum. These two arrows load the previous or next snare drum.
This button with three dots opens a browser window where you can select any of the snare drums available in the M Drummer library. And by now, you know what a button with a diamond does, don't you? That's right, it will load a random drum, snare drum, or generate a completely new one. Pressing FX button generates a new effect plugin set for this particular drum sound. You can always edit them later, but for now, just try it. Layer is one more magical button that adds a new sound to the existing one. It can be anything, effects, claps and much more. The button with the pencil icon opens the drum set editor. We'll talk about it in one of the following videos. The button with the disc icon saves a current sound as a component in the component subdirectory. Simply select a directory Give it a name. Done. This gets especially handy when you master M Drummer and start making your own drum sets. Plus and minus buttons correspondingly increase and decrease the current component's volume by one decibel per click. Good for fine volume tuning. Finally, if you enable the button with a lock icon, it will stop the component from all sorts of randomizations, changes, etc. The generate, generate effects, and save buttons over here have the same functionality as the equivalent buttons on the drum set selector tab. The last tab to explore is the master effects. As the name suggests, this tab is all about loading effect plugins into the master channel in the mixer. For example, how about a reverb and a limiter in there? Just find what you want and click on load or load and join buttons. As usual, the Generate button will create a random set of effects in the master channel. And the edit will take you to the mixer. We'll discuss the mixer in the following videos in detail. On top, we find a panel with sound settings. If you've been making music at least for a week, you already know what these parameters do so I won't waste your time by explaining the obvious. However, there is more to it, and this is something you must know. If you look carefully, you'll notice that some names have a global in them, and some have sound. For example, global panorama versus sound panorama. What is the difference? Sound volume and sound panorama do exactly what you expect them to do. Each new value instantly makes an impact on the sound. But global volume, global panorama, and global pitch work with individual sounds instead. When you hit, say, a snare drum, the note sound will take the current values and keep them as long as it lasts. And an example is worth a thousand words. Here is me moving the global panorama parameter. As you can hear, each crash sound has a different panorama. However, as soon as the sound has taken its pan position, it doesn't move. It stays there. Now, compare it to the sound panorama movement. The crash sounds are flying, so to speak, between speakers. How about panorama width? All drums in the drum set have a predefined panorama, and this parameter makes it wider or narrower, a great tool for mixing. That's all to get you started and already become creative. Next, we'll talk about rhythms.